All right, today's the day that these two get their band. First, we gotta do a little bit of feeding though. These eggs under this grizzle ought to hatch any time now. This is my favorite looking bird in this loft. Hopefully these are kind of white colored and I'll be able to let them go at my friend Victoria's wedding coming up in September. As always, there's an update on our boy Twitty Jones. He seems like he's doubling in size every day. All right, so the band numbers for these two birds are gonna be 3701 and 3702. Uh, as y'all can see, the regular race bands we have at our club this year for 2023, right there. Um, are kind of this bright green, which I really enjoy. All right, y'all, this is gonna be bird number 3701, yet to be named. First regular racing band going on now. Um, as y'all know, we've got a money band on Twitty Jones. If you didn't watch those videos, be sure to go back and watch. Uh, I actually ended up having to put two money bands on Twitty Jones, but let's see if I can get this one in there okay. Oh, but got it on the wrong way there. These are, uh, I must have waited a little bit longer on these, this guy, because, oh, there we go, it's slipping on okay. All right, as y'all can see, that back knuckle there is still hung up in there, so I'm gonna try to work that through. And if I can't work it through, there's a trick that a lot of pigeon people use. Uh, oh, I got it. All right, there it goes. You guys can see that back knuckles through. There's its rump, but its whole foot's through. We got 3701 on the first bird. I feel pretty accomplished uh, because I did not wait too long and I feel like I didn't do it too early because I can tell that thing's definitely not coming off. All right, on to 3702. 3702 seems a bit smaller than the other bird I just had out, which is his nest mate, but that's okay. It must've just been the one that hatched a day later, but I'm still gonna go ahead and put its band on. Uh, if you guys have any name suggestions for these birds, feel free to let me know, of course. You know, if any of them fit, I'll definitely use them. I just hesitate to name so many birds because you do lose a lot of them. All right, let me see if I can get a little better view of this. And just lose them just training. You know, some just turn out to be stupid and they, um, they don't come back home like they're supposed to. Some, of course, get picked off by hawks. Some will run into a power line. All right, y'all can see that's on there. But um, I definitely wanted to name that first one Twitty Jones, which y'all, if you've been watching, you know a lot about him. Just because it's special to me, the first bird of 2023 and the first bird raised on this YouTube series. But uh, I'm not opposed to naming any more of them. I just haven't really got around to it. There you go, there's 3702 locked and loaded to go it may look like a ugly you know all skin no feathers type thing now but you give them about 20 or 30 days it'll look like a full-on pigeon and be ready to you know become a full-on athlete of the sky as i like to say mama is not happy that i had these two out of her nest <laughs> and it's hard to get them back in there without getting absolutely mauled or letting her maul one of them but that's what it looks like when you got two babies in the nest and a mama bird. You can see they fill up a lot of that. She's getting ready to so feed as them. A quick now. recap we've got Twitty Jones back there. We've got 3701 and 3702 down here. We've got two eggs up here that are about to hatch. Two eggs right here that are about to hatch. Two eggs down there that are about to hatch. Two eggs up here that, up, up there that are about to hatch. And probably 10 days off till that first nest over in this side of the loft is supposed to hatch as well. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and I already got three. So when once all these eggs hatch, plus the three I've already got that are hatched, we'll have 13 babies total. I want a lot more than that. So you pigeon people, feel free to comment any suggestions or why you think, you know, I don't have as much breeding going on as I'd like. But as always, thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned. Training will be happening before we know it. Also, shout out to Landon Jones. 
This is a test to see if you're actually watching my videos till the end.